If you're a wedding photographer or event photographer or videographer or basically anyone who uses multiple cameras or second shooters, chances are you've probably run into a situation where not all the cameras were synced up to the same time code. This can be really frustrating when you go to edit the photos because you can't just sort by date created, you have to go through and manually put all the photos in the correct order. Now the best way to avoid this is obviously to prevent it. So what I like to do is I like to send all my second shooters a link to time.gov. That way, before the wedding or event, we all have all of our cameras synced up to the exact same time code. I also like to put that link in my second shooter agreement and if I remember, I text them the night before to remind them. That being said, we're human, we make mistakes, sometimes we need to find a way to change the time code after the fact. This tutorial is going to show you how to use terminal to add or subtract whatever amount of time you want to whatever file you want. It can be a raw file, a JPEG, an MOV, an audio file, whatever file type you want. You don't need to buy any software to do this, so if you don't have Lightroom that's totally fine, but you do need something called Exif Tool, which I'll link to below, and then you also need terminal, which is free and probably already on your computer. To get started, we first need to figure out exactly how far off the times are. So you need a program where you can see thumbnails of the photos and also information about them. So I'm going to use Bridge or you could just use regular old Finder. So this is probably the hardest part of the whole tutorial. If your issue is between two of your own cameras, what you could do is pull them out right now, look at the date and time section and see how many seconds or minutes or whatever, see how far off they are and just mark that number down. That would be the easy way. But let's say it's between you and your second shooter's cameras. So what you want to do is look through all your pictures and try to find a moment that both you and your second shooter captured that's easy to pick out. So what I like to do is look for the kiss during the ceremony because typically that happens in one split second. So what I'm going to do first to make this easier is I'm going to select my second shooter's photos and give them a color. So I know that this is her serial number. You can probably easily just select these are, these are my two cameras. I can just tell by looking at the thumbnails. So this is her camera. I'm going to select them all and I'm going to just label them yellow just so I can visually see in the thumbnails. Wait for that to load for a second. And then I'm going to sort by date created. So this works if your files are pretty close in time. All right, so I'm going to scroll to around when they had their first kiss. Perfect. Okay, so her photos are yellow and mine have no color. So I'm going to look for a moment, the exact moment when they go in for their first kiss. So this is a good one, this is a good one, this is a good one. Any of these could work. So now I'm going to go look at hers. So I'm going to use this image. So you can see right here, there's only one split second where both her left and her right hand are on his back. This one is only one hand. So I'm going to look for this exact image on my camera. So this is on her camera. I'm going to go to all of these. So this one, it's only one hand. This one, this is going to be the shot because in this one, her hand's up. So I know that this picture and this picture have to be the same. So I'm going to mark them right now with a five star just so I can pick them out easier. So mine, hers, I'm going to pull them up side by side. That is a pretty darn good match if you ask me. So my time code for this picture is 4.36.22 p.m. Hers is 4.36.30. So that's exactly eight seconds apart. So what I want to do is I want to, let me think about this math for a second. Mine is an earlier number, so I want to subtract eight seconds from all of her photos. So I'm going to probably write that down somewhere if I don't have a good memory. So you want to subtract eight from these yellow guys. So what I'm going to do, select all of my second shooter's photos, but actually I don't need to get anything from groom prep because that I'll be manually sorting anyways. So I'm going to take from where the ceremony starts, which is when both of our photos start mixing together, all the way to the end of the night. I'm going to take these and I'm going to copy them. I'm not going to cut just in case something goes wrong. And then I'm going to go to a folder that I'm just going to create. I'm going to call it time and I'm going to put it right on the desktop. And this is going to be the folder where you're altering the photos. So when I run this process, I'm only going to do it to the photos in this folder. That's why you want to move them to a separate folder. So I'm going to wait for those to copy over and then in the meantime, I can open up the terminal. Okay, so those are all done copying over. I want to make sure they're all there. 
Great, so there's 43 files that I'm gonna alter. I'm gonna remember that number, go back to terminal. So now I'm gonna open up my handy dandy cheat sheet. So I'm gonna put a link to download this file right below this video. So you can just go ahead and download it completely for free. This is gonna have all the instructions and the exact code that you're gonna to wanna to put in. So this is very sensitive to syntax and spelling and using the exactly correct words. So make sure you follow exactly these spellings and these formats. All right, so to get started, yours will have something different. This will have your computer's information and it'll start right here. This little gray box means it's where you can start typing. So you're gonna start typing this. So what did I say before? I said I wanted to subtract eight seconds from her file, from her uh, photos. So you're gonna type in exif tool, which is what that previous link was for. You don't need to open it, it just kind of sits on your computer. And then you can start typing. So quote, dash, capital A, all dates. And then here you would put in a plus if you're adding time or a minus if you're subtracting time. So I'm subtracting eight seconds, so I'm gonna put a dash, and then equals, and then this is the format. It's gonna be year, month, month, day, day, hour, hour, minute, minute, second, second. So I'm not changing the date at all, so I'm gonna do zero, 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 and then space. And there's no hours, no minutes, and it's eight seconds, so zero, eight. Then I'm gonna put the end quote, and then this is gonna be the location for where the folder is on your computer. So this is called a file path. So I already know that this is my path. If you're not sure, you can go to the file and click Command I to get info. And then right here where it says where is your path. So you can actually just double click to select that and then Command C and it'll actually copy it in the file path format. You can go right here and click Apple V to paste it. If your file is directly on your desktop, which I recommend, this will be the overall format. It'll be users and then your name or the name of your computer and then desktop and then slash and then the name of the folder. If your folder is on the desktop, this will be the general format. And if it's on an external hard drive, this is the general format. So this would be the name of your hard drive. This would be the name of the folder if it's in the very first folder. This you would replace with your computer name and then this would be the name of your folder. All right, and then the very last thing you put in is asterisk, period, asterisk. All right, so you're gonna click enter, and then if there are any minor errors, it'll come back with that, and that's totally fine. It's just probably something that's weird or funky with your XMP, but nothing is happening up here, which is good. That means it's thinking, and if you see in the background, you can see that it's working on stuff. So it's editing the original file, or so, yeah, it's editing the file and making a copy of the original. So I'm just gonna wait for this to be done. If you're working on a lot of raw files or really big files, it'll probably take a while. So don't be worried. If you see nothing on the screen, that means it's thinking and it's working. So be really patient and wait for your original number to double basically. So once it's doubled, you know that it's finished. So my original number was 43 and now it's at 86. Boom, all right, so we see 43 image files updated. Don't worry about this. This was probably just a file that I already had in there. Don't worry about that stuff. So if it's this number matches your original number, you're good. I could actually just X out of this now and go back into this. And I just wanna double check that it did what I wanted it to do. It might take a little while for it to actually update the time. So I'm gonna hit refresh, see if that does anything. All right, perfect. So if you look right down here, the time is now 500 on the dot. Originally it was 508, which means that it subtracted eight seconds. So it did what we wanted it to do. Perfect. Now we can delete all of the original files. I'm just gonna search for the words original, select all. There's 43, so that's great. Hit delete. Yes, I do. X out of that. And boom, these are my correctly timed files. So I'm gonna select all, I'm gonna hit copy. I'm gonna go back to that folder where I had it. And I'm gonna hit Apple V to paste. And I'm gonna replace them all. Wait for them to copy and replace and we're done. So now you can go to date created, scroll down to the ceremony 
look at the first kiss. As you can see, the two that I marked with five stars are right next to each other. They're the exact same time, so that means it worked. Voila! Click the link below for the instructions and the template for the exact code to enter. If you like this video and you want to see more, please give it a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel, or you can follow me on Facebook or Instagram.